Hello good people, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Just World YouTube channel where we live, learn, adventure and charity. We talk about finance, personal development, travel and community service. If you're interested in this kind of content, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. We upload on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. and sometimes on Fridays at 1 p.m. East Africa time. In today's video, as you can see, I have two jars. They are Charlize jars. At some point, I was using Charlize for my perfume. So I retain these two jars so that I can be putting my coins. So today we are going to count how much I have saved in terms of coins from the beginning of the year. If you have been following this channel for a while, at the beginning of the year we gave one of the ways that you can be able to save is using the coins that you get as change. Check the video out if you have not watched. I will try and link it down below. So in this video, we are going to talk about what you can use the money for after saving for some time. Maybe you can do maybe after every three months, maybe after six months, or maybe after a year, depending on how well you're saving. So in my case, I'm doing it after six months. Comment down below with how often you review your savings. And remember we said you should not steal from yourself. So just because I have not put in the jar that you cannot break in, aka the piggy bank, doesn't mean that you keep stealing from yourself. By saving this way, you're instilling discipline on yourself that you don't steal maybe when you're broke or when you just feel like, why not? Comment down below if you have reached this level of discipline. Even if I'm broke to the core, I'm not going to steal from myself. So the next thing is, what am I saving for? One, you can consider topping up your savings account. By now, if you're following this channel, I'm hoping you have a savings account or an investment account where you can keep adding money to grow your money for instance you can have unit trust comment down below if you have a savings plan in my case i'm going to add this money to my investment plan and how do i convert this money into notes number one if you go to some banks they are going to charge you if you want to deposit coins i think a percentage of the amount you're depositing but this is not uh, by all banks it's just a few banks two when you go to the supermarkets they have shortages of coins so for me i always take the coins to the supermarket and exchange for notes because i know they need the coins so they will quickly give you the notes at no extra cost the next way you can use your coins is saving for holiday gifts if maybe as a family or as friends or as colleagues you give each other gifts at the end of the year maybe you have a secret santa so you can always save for that and it will help ease the burden in the month of december or whatever period that you have the holidays by not digging into your pocket because you have already saved for it the next way is creating a vacation fund we always feel like it's impossible to save for a vacation, but if you start small, then you're able to save and accumulate funds to be able to do a holiday. You can decide, maybe it's not even once a year, but maybe once in two years, and you give yourself enough time to save. No matter how little, you'll still get to the amount you want to achieve to be able to take yourself or your family for a holiday. The next thing is, this is one of the best ways you can teach your kids about saving. If they get money and they have a piggy bank and you have enlightened them as to why they, why or how to save, then they will definitely create a culture of saving. 
Comment down below if your kids have piggy banks. If they don't have, maybe you can consider. I have seen parents who teach their kids when they are young to save. When they grow up, they actually know how well, how much or how well to save. And they actually boost their savings kitty until they buy the things they desire just from their small, small savings. Comment down below if your parents created a saving culture for you. When you're training the kids, ensure they also have a saving goal. Let them not just throw in coins into the piggy bank. Let them know they are savings for something. Maybe it's some toys that they have been admiring and maybe at that point, you're not in a position to buy for them. You can encourage them to save and then you can top up their savings so that you give them morale to save. Then of course you get to buy them the items. The next thing is donating to charity. We are always finding ourselves throwing in coins when maybe you find uh, someone in the streets or someone asking for some money. You just give them a few coins. What if you consider maybe for you save for a cause? For instance, you may know a child who needs a book or who is in need of something. You can actually save and help someone else. It doesn't mean that you always save for ourselves, but you can also save for a cause. One of the reasons why people don't save coins is because one, they look down on the coins. They feel like coins are too little for you to save, but it starts with a step. If you want to go somewhere, you can't jump or run. You start by preparing yourself gradually with what you have. If, for instance, you want to go to town, there are so many ways of getting you to town. You may take a, a matatu, that is a PSV. You may take a cab, you may drive, you may take a motorbike, you may take a bike. What will happen at the end of the day, whoever takes one of the different modes of transport you'll all get to town so it depends on how you decide to take yours and the capacity that you have if your capacity is small start small that will not stop you from getting to your destination how many people have you seen who actually maybe and so little but their development projects are so huge they are planning themselves with the income that they have and they maximize on it. Coins do not reflect poverty. Coins reflect one way of some form of legal tender. The next way you can use your coin is you can start an education fund. Perhaps your child is maybe five years and you're saving for their college. You can create a saving fund from the coins and grow it over time such that by the time they're getting to college, then you will have reached the amount you require for their college fees. Comment down below with how you use your coins. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new, kindly subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber and my premier gang, thank you so much for always watching our videos. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our new subscribers. We are growing every other day and we really appreciate your continued support. Kindly continue subscribing, of course, you have, if you have not subscribed. Kindly let us know what other videos you want to watch on this channel. We always value your feedback and you appreciate all the feedback that we have been receiving and we will continue sharing your requests as they come. See you on our next one. Bye.